Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff at the Madden Shoes as always. Got some plays for you today out of a new playbook, or rather, a couple of new playbooks. Uh, I'm in the Falcons right now, uh, which is not your typical, you know, I do the Saints, the Raiders, the, uh, the, the I don't even know, the Saints, the Raiders, the Packers, um, the Ravens, uh, the 49ers. Those are probably the ones that I've done the most. Uh, but I really wanted to show a formation today uh, that I think is probably one of the most underutilized but still one of the best in the game based on the fact that it's not in any of those particular playbooks, those popular playbooks, and that's the gun type flex. Now, this formation is in uh, the Rams, the Bengals, which is one of my personal favorites, uh, which I might make one of my, uh, you know, playbook that I use quite a bit here going forward, and the run and gun. And that's it. So it's a little bit hard to find, but if you're running a custom playbook, you could always add this. Uh, you won't be uh, you won't be disappointed because, like I said, it's one of the best passing formations in the game, and it's really it's really on the rare side because of the fact that it's not any of the, the meta playbooks. Uh, but definitely worth going over. So I'm going to show you guys a bunch of one play touchdowns out of this particular playbook. Uh, this formation was brought to, essentially brought to my attention by a couple of subscribers and a Patreon subscriber who asked specifically for something out of this. Um, so you know this is somewhat well known i mean i just had somebody ask me the other day uh for when they were asking about my rams ebook if i spent time in the gun type flex and i definitely did this is definitely a great formation so i'm going to show you guys a couple of really good pass plays i'm going to start off with the pa slot options this one's probably the most diverse uh when it comes to explosive plays i'll also show you guys some really nice dink and dunk plays uh that you can run and drive your opponent crazy with uh but let's go ahead and let's start off with uh let's go and let's start off with that where was it right there the pa slot options this can beat a multitude of, of different defenses, including cover two, which we'll start off with. We'll go start off with cover two uh, zone. So against cover two zone, this B route here, I'm just going to motion him over and put the X route on a streak. That's all I really have to do. The Y route here, I can put him on any number of check downs. An out route, a flat route, a, a zig route if I think it might be a man, a drag. I mean, there's so many different things I can do with that. It's really up to you. But the real key route is going to be this B route here. Once he gets outside, I mean, he gets an unbelievable amount of separation. I probably could have threw that way earlier and got a nice catch and run. I'm going to motion that ball over so I can get that space because that's really all it's missing is spacing on the field. So do that motion one more time. I said I can do any number of adjustments with these guys. It really doesn't matter, but let's go and let's just set it up just like this. And then that B route is going to get uh, it's going to get plenty of space this time. I don't know. That pass lead just really taking me out of it, to be honest with you. So we're going to do this one more time. We'll streak this guy. We'll flat the Y route, put the A route on the streak just to keep those safeties as far back as possible. And you can see that flat gets a good reaction fast. So we're going to do this one more time. I'll do the, uh, I'll streak the tight end flat the uh, flat the, uh, the cornerback there. So like I said, I mean, I really, it's really because I'm getting such a dramatic pass lead. Um, away from the safety because that's really one of the most important parts is that pass lead away from that safety if you don't pass lead away from that safety enough uh, you're going to get picked off this is an easy one play touchdown against cover four drop show too also you just have to motion out the b route that's pretty much all you got to do uh, and once he crosses the field here um, he's going to be a very easy uh, one play touchdown against cover four any cover four drop show too not cover four quarters or cover four palms that's all you really have to do. So against cover two, pretty much all you have to do is motion him across. And against cover four, all you really have to do is motion him out. And uh, it's a really easy play. Once he gets inside of that safety, just bullet, pass lead away. Probably threw it a little bit soon, a little bit early. Uh, but it's really all about the bullet and the pass lead. This play can be cover four quarters also. All you really have to do is put the A route and the X route on comebacks. Put the Y route on comeback too if you want to. Uh, because you want them to get to the safety's depth. And then uh, the B route, you just motion out. And you're going to see how he turns the corner. Uh, on this play because these things are essentially like like uh, bad zone coverages. I don't know why I didn't catch the ball there, but you can see he got passed. That's the thing about these zone coverages. They're like man coverages will like stick to their guys like glue or at least they, they know that that's their responsibility where these are like zone coverages that act like man that can essentially pass the receiver off to the next zone. So they never really take full responsibility. That's why they're so easy to beat if you just isolate them uh, like I did here by putting these these uh, other receivers into comeback routes. 
So if they keep them, like, they're at really short depths right now, the A route, the Y route, those routes won't get the attention of the safeties because they're too sh they're too short, so they really won't get to the point where the safeties will, will worry about them. They'll get to the point where just the, the middle linebackers will worry about them, the hook zones will worry about them. So if you lengthen it to this point, that's why it'll have success. And then, like I said, you can see how this is just, it's just beating it almost like a man coverage. So it's a really easy one-play touchdown against cover four quarters. Now, this play can also beat, like, a cover six because half the defense is a cover four quarters. So you can really glitch that out. If you can, if you can isolate which side of the defense is a cover four quarters like on this play you can tell the cover two sides where the cornerback's down five yards off the off the ball uh, the cover four side is where the cornerback's back further so I can have the same effect I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put this running back on a wheel route uh, just to kind of make sure that somebody pays attention to that and sure enough you can see we just get a really easy uh, you can break these coverages really easily is the point uh, if you know how to do it Another really good play is the mesh spot. We'll go ahead and we'll pick that. It's a really good cover two play if you streak the Y route. That's pretty much all you have to do. Um, the X route here is going to do a really good job of getting open outside of that. I got a really weird throwing animation because that was kind of off uh, off kilter there. But yeah, just streaking the uh, the Y route. That's really all you got to do. The X route's at a perfect depth uh, where it'll get outside. Uh, and then once again, I mean, you can make some big catch and runs if I wasn't, you know, if I had a little bit more control. This is also a really good cover four play. Um, all you really got to do though is streak and uh, you know it's basically the same setup uh, this X route will just get outside of it eventually uh, although I mean this is something where you can probably shorten I mean the Y route here you can put on a flat and just kind of get that up because he's kind of bumping around and running into this guy here the, these, these outside cornerback routes they just don't really react too good to these outside uh, corner routes so um, that's just something you can do. It's a real quick, easy play against cover four. Next up, we got the wide receiver corners. Now, this is a play, I mean, I can do a, a, a number of things. I like to put the B, I just put him into a flat. I'm running against random defenses here. Uh, a lot of times, and I should probably move the ball back, but a lot of times that flat route, based off of that route combination, will be open under a lot of zones. So let's go let's move the ball back. I also like to put him into a zig route sometimes against man coverages. This is probably the best cover three play in the formation. I'm just going to motion over Jones here, put him on a streak, put the Y route on a streak, and then put the B route on a streak. Put the A route on a smart route, um, although I already messed it up. I hit the wrong button. But, yeah, smart route, the A route, then streak everybody uh, and motion out uh, Jones. And this is going to be a one-play touchdown to the B route once that cornerback reacts to that tight end. This is probably the easiest one-play touchdown in this particular formation against cover three. All the other plays are really cover two and cover four. And then you're really just watching this cornerback reacting to this tight end. You can see how he just kind of caves in that side. Once he does that and he turns his attention, bullet and pass lead away from the safety. As you can see, I'm already loading up. And it's just super simple. Next play is the wide receiver cross. This is really a good play against any defense. Uh, I'm just going to streak the X route, put the running back on a block. Um, these underneath routes are really good man beaters, and the they're also really good zone beaters. The drags are the man beaters. Uh, the deeper route, though, is going to be a really good zone beater if I get some man coverages. I'm going against random here, uh, but that's not, I mean, you know, like I said, if we, if we keep getting man, it's just taking these drags all game. If we get zones, it's really a high-low read from the crossing routes on the other side. Like I said, here, this looks like it's definitely going to be a zone. I didn't block the running back, but that's okay. So, here, it looks like we're getting another man coverage. Maybe I accidentally picked man. <laughs> but, like I said, let's see if we can get some zones here. You don't have to block the running back. I also find you can motion out this B route to kind of separate the, the two routes a little bit. But, it's better for him to get across the field faster. So, definitely best to just leave him doing what he's doing. Uh, and then you can see, I mean, you can get a lot of success under zones uh, that way. So, like I said, that's really your reads. And you can see, I mean, this is just pitch and catch. All I'm doing is streaking this X route, blocking the running back. Uh, and, I mean, if it's if it's zone, it's pretty much going to be the B route. Uh, if it's man, it's pretty much going to be the drag crossing the other way. I mean, there's really nothing more to it. Um, but, I mean, the, you know, the streaking route here is really just, it just creates a concept where you have a high-low. Uh, the A route's open quite a bit, too, but that's mostly there just to pull coverage down for the bigger play. As you can see, he's getting open pretty much every time against zones. Uh, and then, like I said, the uh, obviously, if it's a man coverage, you have the Y route also, which here looks like it's going to be a man. So, you got to take that. I mean, if it's if they're going to be sending a house blitz or something like that, you see there's nothing behind it. You can get a very big play just basically taking what's there. You don't have to force it to the large 
larger play, which is the B route, although it does beat man also. You can see right here, man. It's against in next gen, it'll beat man a lot better. Uh, but you can see I'm going against a top notch secondary, even though I have top notch receivers, uh, and it's a little bit tight. Here, I forgot to I forgot to put that running back on a block, as you can see, I get sacked. Uh, which obviously, you, you know, that's important. You got to make sure you do that so you can see I get sacked there. Uh, but let's, like I said, if I block that running back, I got plenty of time, plenty of protection for these crossing routes uh, to get uh, to get open. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more stuff out of the Falcons, uh, let me know in the comment section with the like button. Other than that, thanks for watching Mad Money Shit Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below.